Hey there, Foxy Gamers! Welcome back to Satisfactory! Boy, this game is an undertaking. Let me tell you, I think I have already about 17 hours played on this game, and I think I've uploaded, like, this is my 12th video, so a total of maybe 5 or 6 hours of gameplay, so whew! There is a lot to this, and it's not a fast process. Maybe it would be if this was multiplayer, but for now, as a single-player game, everything is an undertaking. So, the good news is, I did actually manage to set up our tractor route. So, our tractor has been going back and forth here, picking up- Look at all that coal! Holy cow! I haven't even uh, checked this out lately, but apparently, it's doing a pretty good job. I was thinking I was gonna need two tractors to do all this, but I think one is good enough for now. Anyway, I finally got our coal plant set up here, and this is really ugly and messy, and I hate it, and I'm not sure how to make it prettier, but I realized, oh, there goes our little tractor right now. Hi, buddy. I realized that we were gonna need a lot of space for this coal plant because, man, that thing is huge. I realized we weren't gonna have enough space for our power plant set up down there, especially if we were gonna build more than one, which I'm pretty sure we are absolutely going to have to do. Because I'm kind of disappointed with this, honestly. This thing, uh-oh. Look at this, we already... Man, I spoke too soon. Did our bio burners run out of power? I think so, yep, yep, okay. So this thing only provides 75 megawatts of electricity, which is kind of pathetic, because that's really only two and a half of our biomass burners over here. So... I was hoping I was basically gonna be able to plug one of those guys in and we were just gonna be able to be fine for a while, but turns out I was wrong and we're gonna have to build a whole bunch of those, which is unfortunate because that's gonna be quite a bit of logistics to figure out over there. So one thing I did figure out though between recordings is I was always going through here looking at each one of these trying to figure out which one ran out of power. What I didn't realize is that when we're on standby, the ones that have a yellow beacon on them have something to burn. They're just not actually providing power because our power went out. And the ones that have the red beacons are the ones that are actually out of fuel. So we can just take care of them individually like this, which is really nice that I don't have to open up my, open up each one of these every time our power goes out. Unfortunately, I'm gonna have to split some of these stacks because I'm not sure I have enough fuel to run all of these. Is that it? Did I get them all? Oh, not this one. Over here. There we go. So unfortunately, I can't just remove these and rely on my coal power to be automated. We're gonna have to build a few more power plants. Uh, and our our constructors here are having trouble keeping up with everything that's being burned. So hopefully if I add like another coal plant or two, that will be okay. Definitely the coal that we have here is going to be enough to power several plants. The water, I'm not so sure about. And the water was something crazy too. If we come up here, you can see... Whoops, I'm going to go down here actually. You can see, it, this is kind of ridiculous, honestly. You can see the pipe going all the way over to our pump over yonder. And the way I built this was by constructing a whole bunch of platforms along here. And then, oh, can I, how do I crouch? There we go. And then I built pipe supports, ran the pipes along the supports, and then I removed the supports and the platforms and everything that went along with it. I'm honestly not sure how I feel about this mechanic. In a way, at, at least at this stage in the game, it almost feels necessary because 
if all these pipes are actually taking up a whole bunch of space on the ground, then that can be really obnoxious to try and get around, especially if I want to tap this uh, iron deposit here, which I probably will at some point. And this way, this can be above a lot of our buildings. It, it won't be tall enough to clear miners and maybe not assemblers either, but definitely the smelters and constructors. But I, it definitely looks ridiculous and it feels pretty unnatural to me. And it's also kind of like, well, if the supports are required to build it, then how can you just take that stuff away? So again, I'm not really sure how I feel about that. I have these pumps running along in periodic places on my pipes. This is the first time I've ever messed with fluids in this game. Oh, hi, little guy. Cute little birdie. I wanna, I wonder if I can make him my pet someday. That'd be really nice. But I probably can't make him my pet by attacking him. Look at that. Oh my God, he's so cute. I want it. Will you be my friend, please? Oh, <laughs> he's got like a little, his, his beak is like a flower. That's so cool. Hey, buddy. I love his little walk animation too. So cute. Yeah, anyway, as I was saying, this is my first time messing around with pipes. Oh, let's see if he wants a berry. Can I feed this thing a berry? Where'd he go? Hey, buddy. Can I feed you a berry? Oops, nope. No. I can't, like, right-click this on you, I guess. Okay, well, can I pick you up? Nope. All right, well, goodbye. Sorry for destroying your habitat, sort of. Anyway, <laughs> I get easily distracted. If you have any tips for me on the pipe systems, by all means, I am all ears. I have, I don't know if I have too many pumps or not enough pumps. See, this seems kind of weird to me here. Uh-oh. And did our power go out or did this just decide it didn't need to pump any more water? Our power did not go out. Okay. So, yeah, I don't know if I have too many pumps or not enough pumps. This thing is full of water, so I'm guessing our base isn't in need of water right now, which is cool. That's a lot of pipes to fill up. Let's see, are they all full? Yeah, holy cow. Okay. Well, I guess we have enough water for a while anyway. So we should probably build a couple more of these power plants up here so that I don't have to keep destroying the forest and running back and forth and manually putting in all that stuff. So we'll give that a try and see if that's going to help us at all. I still can't pick up these barrel nuts. It's really weird. I don't know if my game is bugged or if they're not fully grown or something changed and you can only harvest them once, I have no idea. But I'm kind of regretting eating all of those now because I didn't research them to find more, which is a huge bummer. All right, well, let's see what it would take to add another generator up here. Oh my gosh, it takes so much space. The other disappointing thing is I can't actually jump over these pipes. They're too tall. And I didn't realize that when I built those, so I may have done things differently had I known that. Okay, I really want to line this up with the other generator. There we go. So now I think the issue is I maybe don't have enough space here. I didn't know I was going to need this many coal generators. So what I might do, actually, I can put a splitter on these pipes, but if I want to build them, I can't, like, build them this way. Oh, I don't want to block that node anyway, so maybe we'll build them out this way. Is there anything of importance down here that we don't want to block? Oh, I did not mean to fall off. It does not seem like it. Cool. So, yeah, I don't know. We haven't gotten to the usage of quartz yet. But I don't think we can probably put a miner on there. Can we? Ah, I'll bother with that later. Anyway, I think that's a good plan. 
we will extend this platform this way and put another power generator or two up there. Hopefully our power does not go out before we're done doing this. Oh, we could also extend this way a little bit too. There's this rock over here that I didn't want to bother with actually building above that, but it wouldn't be too bad to go this way, would it? Yeah. I think that sounds like a good idea. Okay, there we go. We've got another one set up here. This is really ugly, though. I... This is gonna drive me crazy. <laughs> Someday I will fix our factory and it's not gonna look so hideous. But today is not that day. Mostly because I don't actually know what I'm doing very much with these pipes right now. So one thing I've already learned is there are these junk junctions that you have to place on the pipe itself in an area that's straight, apparently. Because, I mean, right now everything's encroaching each other's uh, position, but, like, if I come up here, you can see the angle doesn't matter. Like, how if it's going down or up, that part's fine. And you can rotate this around, so whichever way you want to make it go, which obviously I needed this to go up so that I could get over here. But you can't put this on a curve, because it'll tell you there, turn of the pipe is too sharp for attachment. And, yeah, I didn't really plan for all that, because I just... This is my first time doing pipes, but lesson learned. Now I know how to make it more pretty, but right now all I care about is powering our base so that I don't have to worry about that as much anymore. This guy is running pretty well here. Has full amount of water, full coal. That's pretty good. Look at all that juicy, juicy power we have. I might put another one in here, but for now, I'm gonna go over and remove a couple of these biomass burners because even when your factory isn't using energy, the biomass burners are still gonna run. I guess maybe the coal power plant will too. But if I can reduce the number of biomass burners I have, then when our power does go out, we're not gonna have everything transferred over to coal power just yet, but this way, when I have to replenish them, I don't have as many to replenish. Also, they're not going to be eating up all this biofuel, because right now, this constructor has had trouble keeping up with all of the biofuel that these burners need. So I'm going to go ahead and top them off while we're over here, in hopes that that's going to last me for a little while. All right, that ought to do it for now. We've got a 310 megawatts uh, capacity, and right now we're sometimes using above 200, but that's pretty good. This way, if I go around and collect some things and some constructors start working again, we'll have some power to spare. Okay. I'm gonna drop off this extra stuff I have here. Oh, good deal. Yeah, there's still a lot of wood left. Obviously not any leaves, but enough to keep making some biofuel now. And hopefully this will be able to stay on top of what we need because we only have four of these fancy burners along with the two that came with our base. So that's not bad. I think I got rid of about four or five of them. I don't know for sure. But let's go figure out what we need to be able to explore a little more. I want to be able to take on some enemies. But right now, we don't really have a lot of food. All we have are these berries. Ooh, and there's only two left. So we're going to maybe see what we need to do to research something that's going to give us some armor, some weapons, that sort of thing. Uh, we've got some coupons we can take here. How about we see what we want to do with these? Oh, also, I think maybe I can research some more on this alien carapace, huh? How about we give that a try? Also, where might- did I use all my coupons? Surely not. 
Huh. I could have sworn I had like four sitting in this box. I must have used them all on the little cart thing. Oh well. I do know what we want though, for sure. We need a fix it coffee mug. Oh, there we go. Oh, no, 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 no. We only need one of those. Ta da! Oh, it's a schematic. I have to make it. Oh, wait. No, no, no. There we go. Okay. Oh, cool. I didn't realize there was like a purchases inventory. All right, guys. There we go. Whoops. Wrong one. Ah. Uh, I feel better with my coffee now. <laughs> That's so awesome that I can sip it. Yay! <laughs> okay. Oh. Silica. I did not realize we gathered some of that. Let's see what we can do in our ma'am here. Ah, medical inhaler. That's what I would like to learn. What is this? Mycela. Mycelia. Didn't we get some of that? I feel like we did, but the problem is we still need to go kill another one of those lizard doggo things anyway, because we only have four out of five alien organisms. Color gun. I'm not super concerned about that right now. Oh, here's Mycelia. Nutrients. Yeah, okay. Well, let's see if we have any mycelia over here. We do! There we go. See what that gives us. Please choose a new mode. Ooh, fabric. I don't know what that's for. Maybe we'll get to make some clothes at some point. Medical properties. Gosh darn it. We need more barrel nuts. I'm so upset that I ate all those. We do have bacon agaric, though. Let's see what happens if we do that. Will this give us the ability to find more of them? I can't remember if that's what this does or not. We'll find out. What did, what did you give us? Anything? Or just was that just for unlocking a node? Let's see. Clip our object scanner here. Whoops, that's not what I meant to do. Stop it! Stop it! Ah! There we go. Okay, yeah, that is what this was for. Now, if only we had a barrel nut to research. We'll just put those alien organisms back for now. I already forgot what our current milestone is going to get us. Oh, that's right. Basic steel production. Oh, man, you mean I just figured out how to set up a truck and a coal power plant, and now I'm going to have to figure out how to use this foundry? I hope it's more simple. But let me double check and make sure there's not, like, a milestone that's going to offer us any sort of extra protection or anything like that before we settle on it for sure. Ooh, Miner MK2... Ah, uh, the normal extraction rate is 120 resources per minute. I'm pretty sure that's what our regular miner is, 120 resources per minute. Oh, unless, okay, that's probably for the regular node, but the, the pure nodes with the miner mark one is probably less than that, but because it's pure, it's doubling or something like that. Okay, so we probably will be able to mine more. That's cool. All right, we got the Xenobasher. Yep, yep, hyper tubes. Those will be super fun to make, but we don't have steel pipes or industrial beams yet. It does look like we definitely want to go with this steel production. Okay, well, that means let's drop off whatever we have here, and hopefully it's been <laughs> enough time has passed between my trying to get our power situated that maybe there will be rotors available for us. So I'll go check that out. All right, we did have enough rotors available, but I'm sad to say it doesn't seem like it's producing very quickly. So hopefully that's going to keep on top of what we need for the foreseeable future. 
I don't know if that's going to be the case, but for now, it's okay because we're getting a little bit of a, a stored amount there, but okay. We will go ahead and launch that and see what we Model need to reached. make all this stuff. Steel production unlocked. Foundry grants access to new simple steel parts. An additional project part can now be constructed. Progress to the next phase is now possible. Yep, as I suspected, we're going to be needing lots of rotors eventually, but at least for this, we only need 10 per foundry. What else do we have here? Steel beam, steel pipe, and versatile framework. So these are probably things... Can I even make these at my bench? Oh, look, power shard. What is that for? What? Huh. Could this be a way for me to store electricity? That would be amazing. I guess I'm gonna have to... Oh! Green power slug! Okay. That's what we make with those guys. Alright, we'll have to discover what that's for another episode. So we're gonna need to be combining iron and coal. Yep, that makes sense. And then, let's see here. Steel pipe, steel beam. And it looks like we can't even make a versatile framework, so that's gonna have to be something that we do in a constructor, I imagine. Anyway, that's to discover next episode. That is going to do it for today. Thank you so much for joining me, everyone. And until next time, stay foxy.